Bosman ruling. What was it and how significant has it been, you know, like since then? Massively. I still think it's probably the most important case in football history. Um, maybe that with one domestic UK um, movement, restraint of trade um, one, but this effectively ensured that when a player was out of contract, that the player could then leave their club on a free transfer. And it may sound very simple that that was, should have been always the case, but pre-1995, that wasn't the case. Even if the player was out of contract with his current employer, that club would retain that player's registration. Um, and so he couldn't, he or she then couldn't move to another club as a result. And that was seen basically as a, a restraint of trade. And so um, that's the main significance of Bosman. One thing that's forgotten about Bosman as well is there was another set of restrictions that UEFA was found by UEFA uh, to be illegal, which was um, the three plus two rule, which was basically the foreigner rule, which allowed um, at that time only three players that were non, effectively in the UK, were non-UK um, players to be able to play in a UEFA Cup competition. And that was ruled illegal under basically, you know, discrimination under the grounds of nationality. That if you were an EU worker, i.e., member of a member state in the European Union, then you shouldn't be discriminated against about where you were, where you were effectively born. Um, so they were the two facets of uh, of Bosnia.